to my channel so today I'm going to be doing a resin dish or plates or whatever you want to call it so I recently just got this mold and I got this off Aliexpress uh, so I wanted to give this a try because as well as that I received these beautiful dried flowers so I'm going to put these in the dish and we're going to make a flowery dish and uh, see how it turns out so I've got my mould ready, I've got my resin ready, so I'm just using normal casting resin, so I'm just giving that a sec for the bubbles to rise like I normally do, so you can see they're normally rising, and then we're going to crack straight on with this video. So the first thing I'm going to do, is before I put the flowers in, is I'm just going to put a thin layer of clear resin in the dish just for the flowers to sit into and then I've decided I think I'm going to use just a mixture of these flowers because I like how they look uh, they just like the brightness of them so these are in vacuumed bags so I'm going to cut this open and get some of the flowers out ready to use Okay, so I've placed the flowers where I want. I've just pushed them down slightly just so that I'm cautious not to get any air bubbles. Um, I've just tried to pour some clear resin on the top and it makes them move. So I think I need to let this sit up for a bit before I do any more resin on the top. Because I'm thinking I'm going to do just a bit of pigment on the top. And I've got this magical violet and I'm just going to do a slight sheen of pigment but we need to let this set up and I'm going to keep an eye on it just make sure they don't all float away and just make sure that they set where I want them and then uh, we'll be back to do more okay so this has been 24 hours this has had the clear layer in so all the flowers are set so I've got my resin mixed up and I've decided actually rather than do the violet like I said I'm going to put in some black mica powder into my resin so I'm going to mix that into the resin and we're going to do a black pour so I'll just mix up my black resin So I'm a tiny bit short just around the edges, you probably can't even tell. So I've just mixed up, that was 100ml that I just poured there. So I've just mixed up another 40ml, 20ml uh, of each part. So I'm just mixing that up and hopefully that will be just enough just to get it right to the top. So I'm just going to mix up this last little bit. And then... Um, Hopefully that will get us, I mean I could have left it but I was just worried in case I left a ledge. So I'm going to stir this for three minutes, add some more black pig pigment and then we'll do the top up. So 
this is 24 hours later and here it is all hardened up. You can see some bubbles on the top but that's the underside so I'm not bothered. So let's demold this now. So it's really easy to do to demold. It came out really easily and I'm really excited to like turn it round and see what it looked like. And wow, just wow. Those bright flowers on that black background they're just stunning and I'm really pleased and glad that I went with um, the black rather than the clear resin never tried it before so definitely happy with that so what I decided to do was use this silver leaf um, to paint the outside so this was a new purchase I just got off Amazon as well, this silver leaf. So I just give it a stir. So you stir it up to make sure you get all the pigment mixed up well. And I'm going to paint this around the sides. So here we go. So just along those edges. And all I've got here is just like a little cheap paintbrush, I think that's like from the pound shop from a little kit and I just literally like dab it on and initially you can see I'm trying to keep it just within that black um, line but I realised it was looking a bit odd and I couldn't keep it as neat so you'll see that I actually as I go along I actually end up doing the whole side and actually, because there were some little bubbles in that bit of clear, I just thought, you know what, it will cover that up. So it's fine. So I, I went with it. So I've just sped this video up, um, or this part of the video, uh, because otherwise all I'm doing is just painting this silver on. You get, I'm sure you get the gist of how I'm doing it. I just dab it on. You have to let it dry. It takes um, not long, just a few hours. And then I'll go back and I'll do a second layer. And then I had to use a wet wipe just to uh, dry it, or not dry it, to clean off the edges because I was a bit messy. Um, but yeah, and I'll show you the finished result. So here's the finished plate after two coats of the silver leaf that I painted on. So it's two coats of dried. What do you think? I don't know if I prefer it with or without, but painting this on it actually hid the imperfections that I had on the side because there were some little bubbles showing so that hid those but there's the finished plate I love how it turned out I love this the flowers on the black I think it looks great yeah let me know what you think would you do it with or without the silver leaf I hope you've enjoyed this video I hope it's given you some inspiration to do a different colour rather than a clear resin. Thanks for watching and please subscribe. Bye.